in this first question using euclid division lemma uh, algorithm to find hcf of 135 and 225 so i'll do any one okay so i'll do the first one rest two you can do on your own 135 and 225 so there is a process which we will be using So do you remember the Euclid division lemma? Yes. What yes. is Euclid division lemma? Where a is equal to b q uh, plus r, where zero is smaller than or equal to r, and r is smaller than b. Okay. So I call it. A equals to B Q plus R Bekar formula B Q plus R Bekar. Okay, where R should be greater than equal to zero and should be smaller than B. So what does this mean? So when we divide normally A for under, B for bahar. Okay, Q for yes. quotient. And R for remainder. So normally we divide and we write in this form. So A equals to B Q plus R. That means divide uh, dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. That's a very basic uh, division rule which we have already learned since uh, childhood. Yes or no? This particular rule. And over yeah. here, this particular rule is very very important. That remainder should be remainder should be between zero and b. Obviously, this is very simple logic. It can't be equals to b. It can't be more than b. That means the uh, dividend, sorry, divisor, and uh, it can't be less than zero. But maximum lowest value it can have is zero. Okay, let's go for it. So we have to find out. Um, at CF basically for this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide two to five and one thirty five. Okay. So it's uh pretty simple. I have to just multiply by one, one thirty five, and the remainder would be zero, uh ninety. Okay. So therefore, a equals to A is under wala that is two twenty five. B equals to one thirty five. Therefore, two twenty five equals to one thirty five multiplied by one plus ninety. Is this thing clear? Yes. Yes. And we have to keep doing this thing till the time we get the remainder zero. I'll show you. How we will write one statement as remainder is not equals to zero. Therefore, using Euclid division lemma again. Okay, now you don't have to write once again the identity, which is this one. We don't have to write it again, but once in the question you should write. Now, if we are taking this red line, what I have taken over here, okay. So the new two numbers are these two numbers, okay, <clears throat> B and R, okay. Yes. So as one thirty-five is greater than ninety. So we'll divide again. So one thirty-five inside and ninety outside. Again, we have to multiply it by one. And what is the remainder we are getting? Forty-five. Forty-five. So we'll write again. One thirty-five equals to ninety multiplied by one plus forty-five. Okay. 
and we will again write as uh, remainder is not equal to zero. So you using Euclid division lemma again. Okay. Understood? Okay. Now in this case, again, there is 90 and 45, these two numbers. Okay. So as 90 is greater than 45, so we'll keep 90 inside and 45 outside. And this time I'll multiply it by two and we'll get 90. That means remainder is zero. So therefore 90 equals to 45 multiplied by two plus zero. So we'll write as remainder equals to zero. Therefore HCF equals to b so what is b in this case what is b in this case 45 understood uh, yes so hcf is 45 i hope the procedure is clear yes so similar to this you have to do the rest two questions as homework